Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to 8.1.3 Pass for Exploration. We are going to do Rust and Ruin weapon with Cosmic Control Shard and Intercept and Damage over time. So when the fight starts, the defender will have an active weapon on him that is Cosmic Control Shard. The way you disarm it is if you perform Intercept. And when it is disarmed, then you can use Damage over time champions and the damage over time will be increased by 200%. Now the Defenders are pretty straightforward to deal with. Make sure that you bring in the counter uh, Captain Marvel movie version. And one of my favorites for this path is going to be Archangel and also Mole Man along with Nick Fury. So I'm going to use those champions, but there are plenty of different options available. If you are going to have a bleed champion, try to run your Deep Wounds Mastery. And the boss is going to be a Mr. Sinister with Arc Overload, Technical Suppression, Rigorous Assault and uh, Return Policy. Now jumping right into the path. The first fight is going to be against a Red Hulk. Now I'm going to bring in a Nick Fury. You will notice the Cosmic Shot activated with the green. So I will just try to get an Eternal Bleed on him with the medium and then into heavy. And I will try to intercept him. So as soon as I'm able to intercept him, I'll be doing extra damage right there. The weapon is disarmed. Now any damage that I do, uh, damage over time is going to be 200% increased. So you will notice how he's just melting away very quick. And I have plenty of time to apply more debuffs and get more damage in. So even before the first... A control shard comes back. I am able to kill off Red Hulk. Next up would be Scarlet Sigil Witch. For her, I have brought in an Archangel. Usually she can apply poison on you, but with reduce ability accuracy, that wouldn't be a problem. So just parry and heavy and let those neurotoxins stack up and you can melt away her pretty easily. You can also use Mole Man, you can also use Nick Fury. It's all upon you, just hope you don't get a poison and you should be able to get through this fight. Tiger is also another option here. Black Widow Deadly Origin. Um, Warlock with parry and heavy style. You can also use Human Torch because she is Scarlet, which is a mystic champion so plenty of options just choose the right one and let's get to the path Fight number 3 is going to be against the Cap Captain Marvel movie version. Now this fight can get nasty if you don't bring in a good Mystic counter because she takes extra damage from Mystic energy attack damages. I'm just using a uh, Tigra here and I will slowly build up my... With SP1s I will build up all my senses and then I can throw an SP2 at the end of it. Even with the heavy attack and all of those ruptures, you will notice how much damage she is doing. So make sure that you bring in a good mutant champion to deal with her and to hope that she is not much of a trouble. Her special 1 and 2 both can be evaded, but I would say just keep it to an SP1, which is which uses less space on the screen and does, uh, keeps you away from cornering. Next defender is going to be a Hulk Ragnarok, not really difficult, I'm just gonna use Mole Man, he will take away all the armor breaks from Rust and Ruin and every now and then I can drop in an intercept so I can disarm the weapon and do extra damage on the bleeds while the frenzy is active and that should melt him away very quickly, a huge special too with the bleeds on will really melt him very fast, you just need to take care about the unstoppable smash after he throws a special or if he dashes in and the rest should be okay, you should be able to do this fight easily.
Fight number 4 is the most annoying and the longest fight for me that is against a Modo. Now I could have chosen another champion but I just went with Void because I wanted to make it safe and do it in one go. So yeah Void works I can just apply the Petrifies but it doesn't have to be him. You can use Archangel as well you can use Black Widow Deadly Origin as well. The only trick is that you wait for him to throw a heavy and then you retaliate and you should be good. So again plenty of different shop uh champions available sp1 sp2 both can be easily evadable the only problem is she will uh, he will push himself to an sp3 and that will do a lot of damage so you will have to take care for that And the final defender before the boss is going to be an invisible woman. When you start, just be careful about the invisibility. And after that, you will have enough bleeds to not worry about it because she's susceptible to bleeds. So bleed champions will work really well. So your mole mans, your nick furies, your blades, all of them will do really good. And all you need is one intercept. Once you get that intercept, the damage over time uh, debuffs will take over. Now, as with nick fury, I have two internal bleeds going. I'm going... I'm looking for my opportunity to do an intercept and as soon as I do an intercept you will notice that the, uh, that the weapon is disarmed and I will do 200% extra damage on all the bleeds. So I think I do get an intercept here somewhere, just here and look at that damage on the bleeds. Right there, 21,000 on a simple attack. If it crit, it would have been around 35, 40,000. So look at Invisible Woman melting. So yeah, it's just about getting one intercept and using all the damage over time effects on the defender. The boss fight is going to be against a Mr. Sinister with Arc Overload, Technical Suppression and Vigorous Assault. So. It's a regular Mr. Sinister fight with an extra node of Vigorous Assault. So whenever the, he will have a region, he will go unblockable. And with Arc Overload, so basically he gets a uh, burst of uh, region every, two, every 10 seconds. 
So the way you counter that is you bring in either heal blockers like Archangel or you bring in tech champions that get extra heal block from technical suppression node. So every time you will use a special with a tech champion, you will heal block Mr. Sinister. Also, there are plenty of champions that don't crit, so they will work really well. So in famous Iron Man, Guillotine 2099, Captain America, Cap Sam, all of these champions are really good ones. Now I did make a mistake here I think with Archangel and I took an SPG to the face and then I died also. I wasn't able to stack enough neurotoxins for uh, Mr. Sinister not to transfer the bleeds on SP1. So I think I uh, uh, died with Archangel but then I came back with Warlock and made a quick fight out of it. For Warlock, make sure uh, that you have some kind of synergy, for example, Ultron or Vision to get Furies from the Bleeds because you're immune from them. And yeah, all in all, Warlock is a really cool champion for Mr. Sinister. Just make sure those the viruses are up and you are good to go. You can take him down and also with an extra heal block whenever uh, a tech champion will use a special in case warlock you will get an extra heal block so it will be slightly slower fight because he's very tanky but you should be able to take him down with the right game yeah, with the right game plan I hope you guys really enjoyed the video and it helped you out. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notifications and leave a comment down below. All of that really helps me out a lot. If you want to watch my more videos, just click on the top right. That is playlist for 8.1. And apart from that, guys, I hope you all have an amazing day and I'll see you next time.